Well, here it is. Uh, five more days prior to gun season. Four more days to uh, bow hunt. And we got some nice snow on here. Supposedly the snow should last through gun season. And you can really see the deer tracks in here. For the Larson's, there's deer right where we parked the trucks. About 50 yards up, County Trump J. Deer are walking right through there. Going way up there. There's the turn off. And I'm gonna walk in where I've been jumping or the deer jump me every time I walk out so I walk in there just for kicks and see what's going on and again the roads are fairly good for those coming up north and they were slippery we had about three more inches of snow this last Sunday night but uh, things are getting to look like they should look for gun season with snow on the ground and not just all green. And pretty soon I just gotta start to walk through that wet area up there. See you later. Well, I'm walking through a recent clear cut area. And uh, the field I usually would walk through is back through there. The deer have always been obviously coming through here. There's one track there. There's Another track over there. We got one in here last year. It was tough. It was a little bit more east of me. We cut this maybe about 10, 15 years ago. But we'll just walk to see if we can see any beds or something like But that crossed it over. So they're walking through here. So there's got to be a cutoff where John will be going west. Go both ways. Must be a known trail around here. That was between 10 to 14 degrees this morning. And here's one spot, John, you should keep on walking. That goes into uh, some private land right down there. So, making a path for you since your first time getting up here when it's dark outside. Obviously, Watch out for the water and walk around it. I'm going to stop and put one more video and I think it's a good spot for you to go in if Cole can keep on walking up this snowmobile trail, which is uh, 16 east and west. And it's nice to use them and then you can walk in and you don't have to trump through the woods. And you know where you are on the, all the maps I gave you. I walked up quite a bit more and what you have to do is keep on walking up the trail and you're going to see a little orange triangle for the snowmobile trail and just when it starts to bend in daylight you'll see the uh, red marks on the trees which is the cutoff. This is all private land. You can see it's selectively cut. Public land is right up there. There's that crazy ass tree that's halfway fallen so if you go past that someplace. There's one way down there. I haven't seen any deer tracks so far on here, but there's one laying down quite a bit. So that Hunt Wild new DNR website app is really nice. Oh, look at this. This is just over the edge here. I like that. And it comes from the private land. And all this is a county land here, so it zigzags around and you're about uh, 50, 100 yards from a high power line and there's a swamp in there and, uh, and I've walked up here and sat a few times and I've seen deer trails some places sit so there's a big tree there but that down tree and that tree that's over the side but in pitch black you won't see anything this is it I changed my mind and walked down a bit more and there's a little pond in here, and once you get to the pond, by that Wild Hunt uh, DNR website, this is the, like the corner of county land off on your left, and uh, obviously anything on the right is county land. And the power light is pretty close. If nothing else, you're going to hear Highway 45 traffic all day long. 
even though we're a mile away from it, it really has traveled. So, and back there is one of those orange snowmobile markers for the trail. Anyway, I would play it safe and not get caught on this guy's land. Uh, John, here's what I said right by the parking lot. I parked the trucks. There's Jay, about 50 yards off of Jay. And deer just walk through here all the time. Jack used to come out here and see more deer just coming out here bullshitting with whoever else is out here in the lot. But uh, they do they do like the roadways too. They do like to walk right down. And it seems to be pretty fresh. I did see two uh, rubs walking on a trail when I walked back in by you. And uh, I suppose you may be. So they, they were pretty spread apart. They looked like they were old rubs, but something was moving. One buck's moving around in here.